Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss about mixture and allegation topic. Okay, so this mixture and allegation topic is very much important for you when you are attending any placement test or any competitive exam. So competitive exam in the sense any banking exam, any railway exam or any other government competitive exam. Okay, so this this is like very important topic. So most of the student feels difficult while attending these uh, questions in a real kind of examinations. So I am giving you simple steps. So I am telling you from basic to advanced problems in this particular topic so that you will get clear idea and overview on this topic. Okay. So let's start our video. So so basically what is the mixture uh, so so we, we do have a two particular topics over here mixture and allegation so mixture and allegation are two different terms so first we'll see what is mixture so basically mixture is a combination of two or more elements to form a third kind of element okay for example for example so in this diagram i'm giving you like this is a and this is b and this is the c okay so here what happening so this is a there is a a element and b element so what they doing actually so they they will be combining a and b uh, elements to form that third element okay so if we combine two elements it uh, and pour in one uh, one bowl so it will be forming a third element so this is called so mixture so mixture is nothing but it's a uh, two different quantities when we combine like that okay so basically i hope you got some clarity or mixture term so mixture is nothing but it's a combination of two or more elements and if we combine those two elements it will form third element namely we, we said c okay great so we'll see what is allegation also allegation is a rule actually that enables us to calculate the price of a mixture so we are combining these two quantities a and b we are combining these two quantities a and b and uh, uh, saying it as a c element uh, when it is combined so in order to calculate the price of this uh, price or quantity of this element we will use this allegation method to calculate very easily okay so so i am saying that allegation is a rule that enable us to calculate the price of a mixture so we will easily find the price of this mixture by using allegation method let's start our topic so basically allegation is very important method to solve a uh, different kind of problems it might be mixtures prices uh, ratios percentage speed and many more concepts so basically what we have uh, we we do have like a, a, prof, a profit and loss uh, and uh, you know percentage percentage topic and we'll have speed speed and distance uh, speed distance and time topic and uh, you know like uh, there are a uh, ratio and proportion r and p so these the uh, all these topics so if you involve in this mixture and allegation topic so you it is also helpful for you in this particular topics what i mentioned over here so and there are many more concepts in mathematics you can use this allegation and mixture concept okay very easily so actually what is the basic rule of allegation is nothing but so uh, i am saying that we will uh, like what my point is to tell you is like we will use this allegation method in different concepts in mathematics namely mixtures prices ratios percentage speed and many more concepts i am saying uh, if you want example for example in certain questions for example in certain questions uh, when price is given in per kg so price will be given per kg okay so uh, they will be giving in prices prices uh, in per kg value like that they will be giving okay and in uh, like speeds also they will be given in a uh, per hour kilometer hour per kilometer hour okay so and they are also giving some quantities okay uh, so what my point is like we'll be, uh, we can use this allegation and mixture concept in different mathematics topics so that will be very easy for us to calculate the exact solution by using this method okay so let's moving forward to the uh, real concept that is so I'm, I'm telling you the basic rule of allegation okay how to calculate so we are all saying that uh, allegation and all so i'm telling you basic rule of allegation okay so try to make a note of it it will be very helpful and or handy to you while you're preparing for your examination okay so for example uh, in order to explain you i'm considering an example for you uh, let's say there is an item called a okay let's say there is an item called a and it is sold at a, and it is sold at very lower price so item a is sold at very lower price 
say like uh, uh, that lower price is nothing but x per kg okay so i'm saying uh, let's consider an item a and it is sold at very lower price let's consider that lower price as x per kg okay so and there is an another item namely b it is uh, sold at a higher price okay so item b is sold at higher price say y per kg okay so higher price y per kg okay so in order to find the ratio or uh, sometimes they will be saying like uh, like the, these two are like mixed in many of the problems they will be saying that uh, item a and b are mixed and uh, uh, like that they will be saying uh, in order to find the ratio we have simple allegation rule that is nothing but uh, let's consider one more example okay for example so uh, previously i told you one example uh, so lower price six so 60 so suppose consider the item uh, lower price as 60 okay and uh, higher price uh, name it as 80 okay so they mixed and form a ratio called 70 per kg so they are saying that so i am taking two values uh, one is lesser than actual value one is greater than actual value so what uh, like how to calculate the allegation is nothing but so just subtract 80 minus 70 is going to be 10 and uh, uh, 60 minus 70 you, we need to do actually but uh, it, it will give us negative value we can simply ignore the negative values over here okay because uh, the answer will be getting in in terms of ratios okay so uh, like we can calculate 70 minus 60 then it is also 10 so this is the basic uh, rule of allegation we usually uh, calculate so what my purpose is to tell you is like the basic rule of allegation says that uh, there will be one lower price uh, some x per kg and uh, there will be b also for a higher price uh, y per kg i suggested like that uh, for x i taken a value called 60 for y i taken a value called 80 so what my point is to tell like if these two are mixed and uh, they will be saying uh, and uh, form like this okay 70 per kg so uh, like one is uh, this is the actual value actually okay so one is lesser than this value one is more than this value then this allegation uh, come into picture okay so we can use easily use this and uh, try to resolve our problems and we call uh, so see uh, like the the actual uh, the required quantity so this is the required ratio this is the required ratio comes in terms of one is to one so uh, after allegation you will always get the required ratio okay then you can move on so let's consider one example to get a clear overview so in, in many of the examinations uh, in railway exams they will be asking these kind of simple questions okay so we'll be starting from very basic and we'll try to solve very high level questions okay so this is the basic question actually so i'm reading question for you type a oranges cost rupees 45 per dozen and type b oranges cost rupees 75 per dozen in what ratio they should be mixed so that a mix of these oranges may be sold for 65 per dozen okay so i explained you the uh, allegation uh, uh, how uh, how to apply allegation method so if you not uh, like not able to understand see here carefully uh, it will be very easy uh, to make this process so what they are saying is like there are uh, two types of oranges okay so namely type type a orange type b orange okay so so type a orange is nothing but 45 per dozen they are saying type b orange is nothing but 75 per dozen they are saying if they uh, so in what ratio they should be mixed so that the oranges so in what ratio they need to be mixed up to make this uh to make this a type a and type b oranges to sold at 65 per kg they are be saying like this okay so as i told earlier so one value so this is the actual value 65 one value is less than 65 and one value more than 75 so the allegation rule comes into picture we can use it, easily use this okay so if you subtract 75 minus 65 the resultant is going to be 10 if you subtract 65 minus 45 the resultant is going to be 20 so what is the ratio we got in the end 1 is to 2 so what what they are asking actual question is like in what ratio they should be mixed so that the mix of these oranges may be sold for 65 per dozen okay so the actual ratio they need to, or we can say required ratio so the required ratio is nothing but 1 is to 2 so this is the simplest way to find any you know mixture and allegation problem so this is the very basic level in coming videos i'll be discussing with you like advanced problems and uh, like they will be taking like uh, so here you only having these two kind of variables uh, in, in coming videos i'll be like uh, uh, 
telling you like th there are three kind of variables how to tag uh, tactfully do that uh, uh, question easily i'll be telling you so and there are a few other models as well i'll be discussing in the coming video so i hope you like this uh, video presentation if you like this video give like share subscribe to our channel and do share this presentation to your friends and colleagues who are preparing for competitive exams and other government exams okay thanks for visiting this video thank you